Hello, hello everyone. It's not a good morning. Why? Uh, I find myself emotional. I find myself sad because of Chadwick Bosman died yesterday and I knew this morning. Um, I've been going through those emotions. Yeah. Somebody would ask, <clears throat> is somebody in US, whatever? I find myself, that is me. I'm finding out about me and I want to talk about me. We are talking about ourselves. I'm sad about him dying at 43. I'm sad because he's my hero in Black Panther. I am sad because I, I connect to, with him somehow. Those heroes of yours or model, role models of mine that are out there, like I'm connected to him, I'm connected to Oprah Winfrey, I'm connected. Though they don't know me in Kenya, they are there in US, I, somehow I find myself connected to such people. I'm connected to Trevor Tri, Noah, some Steve, there's so many, but I'm sad today. Then I go back to what I have been doing and uh, working on, especially working on relationship skills. And in the relationship skills, there is the emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence all talks about interaction, how we feel, how we manage it, how we influence others with our emotions, how we portray ourselves with the emotions, reactions, behaviors. As this moment of grief, how am I going to react? So generally in emotional intelligence it's all talking about am i aware of myself my emotions self-awareness is key and within the self-awareness am i aware of the emotional or emotions i'm going through the sadness the what what am, what am i going through am i grieving am i still bargaining am i aware of everything Second thing, self-management. Of course, the emotions has to be managed. The emotional self-control. I have to control myself. Am I going to control myself by saying it and feeling it or let the feelings come out and argue it out? Am I going to adopt without having Chadwick Bosman in my life? Am I going to move on? What are the achievements, orientation with my reaction? What are the positive outlooks from my emotions? I have to look at all that. Is it the physical reaction, interaction, or crying, looking at it, talking, in, uh, telling somebody? That is all managing yourself with the emotions. All is included in my thinking, empathizing with the family, being there for the family, or not tainting the image of Chadwick because I'm aware I love him and I don't want, it's called social awareness. You have to be aware that you're not going to put down those who are suffering. Mm -hmm. The last part of emotional intelligence is saying, how am I going to relate? Though I am grieving, though I have those emotions of death, though this time is not a good time, for me, how am I going to influence other people? Maybe they don't know who I'm talking about. 
Am I going to put it on their face? Am I going to uh, require them to, to feel the way I'm feeling? No. If you are a coach and a mentor, you don't put the bad things, your feelings, on the other people. So as a coach and a mentor of my emotions, I shouldn't put my emotions on anybody's face. Remember, I had to be aware about it. The first point was self-aware. You have to be aware of your emotions. Then manage them. When I'm managing them, I'm trying not to influence my social gathering, my relationships, my siblings, my aunties, my uncles, my students, my children, with all these emotions that I might have. Is my emotions producing conflicts in management? Uh, financial management, your emotions, is it influencing the, your relationship in which area? In your, at your work? Is the sadness going to spill over to work? Is it going to spill over into my parenting? Is it going to spill over into my leadership? mentorship or coach teacher all those are my relationships how am i going to manage them with what i am feeling that is what we call emotional intelligence we have to be aware of what we are feeling like i'm now sad with the death is it going to spill over and damage other relationships. I have to be socially aware of what others also are feeling. Are they feeling the same thing? Is, are they aware of the, what is making me sad? Can they help me to overcome what I am feeling? Can they help advice me on what, how, what to do to get my emotions in check. Especially when we are angry, when you are angry and annoyed, there's so many hormones that are running and makes your frontal cortex doesn't function well where problem solving works and you just go with your limbic system and the hormones are running you down that is the time your relationships can be damaged you just go with one choice and you go and most likely is the negative one you have two choices to walk away or to stay and confront the issue you have Stay into the emotions of grief and let it come out and solve it. Not stepping away and feeling that uh -uh, it did not, that's not my place, it's far away, I don't need to. Mm -mm. Then you shut down your emotions. Which will come out later in different ways. It is called displacement reaction or sublimation. These are, these are mechanisms that we use. We take the emotions from wherever, the grief, and it rears his head in a different behavior in me. As a person, maybe you feel yeah, there is a lot of bad things and you need to grieve, but you're not grieving, you have shut it down. So you go for the bottle, you drink alcohol, you do drugs, you do other things, be promiscuous and all those things, thinking uh, you are being happy. Because I can be happy only if I'm drunk. I can only be happy when I'm in a relationship. But you are not solving where you have capped. 
that relationship, that grief, that fight you had with the significant other, that gossip that touched your heart and you're keeping it, it is making you react in the other ways. So you are displacing a different reaction to, to cope. There are mechanisms for coping. There are those who reason out themselves with excuses. Yeah, because he's far, I can, don't need to feel this way. Uh, but somehow you find yourself feeling that way. But you are reasoning it out. Ah, he's not my brother. He's just a screenplay person. No. Let those feelings come out and sort it. Face the, the feelings that are coming out. And look for answers. If you don't have answers for yourself, check your social support for the answers. Yeah. Thank you. God bless.